Hello everyone, today I want to talk about a very popular procedure called taping. At the beginning this technique was used by sportsmen to recover their muscles faster. Elastic bands were speeding up the rehabilitation process by loosening the muscles and increasing the metabolism. And recently this procedure became very popular in aesthetic medicine and cosmetology. Nowadays, it's a popular cosmetological procedure that improves the state of your skin, removes swelling and loosens face muscles, as well as it helps smoothening out the wrinkles, which at first place appear when your muscles are over-contracted. The procedure is done with kinesio tapes, which are elastic bands with some hypoallergic glue on it. I have already done several videos about taping, but I want to share a bit more with you today. Which type of tapes fit for your face? Can you replace them with something? And what is the effect you can expect from this procedure? There are several techniques of taping. They are not really complicated, but require some knowledge of muscle structure, as well as knowledge about lymphatic nodes and the ability to diagnose the state of your muscles. So what are the taping techniques? First one is modeling taping. It helps loosening your muscles and remove cramps. There, you fixate the muscles in a relaxed state, providing a lifting effect. And here it's crucial to know the location of the muscles. The next technique is lymphatic drainage. It improves the lymphatic and blood flow and speeds up dermal regeneration, as well as removing toxins from your skin. And here it's crucial to know the location of lymphatic nodes since you need to apply your tapes according to their location. And with this technique, you remove and give your skin an even healthy, glowy look. And one more type of taping is defibrosing. This will help fighting fibrosis and droopy spots on your face where the tissues got too thin. And now I want to show you another taping technique that you can use without a deep knowledge. We are going to be working with some small wrinkles and folds. And we are going to use tiny pieces of tape in the shape of a circle or a square. Here, it doesn't really matter in which direction you can stretch out your tape. We are going to just fixate the wrinkle in place. It's important to remember that taping is a good addition to face exercising. Therefore, the whole taping procedure we are going to start off with some loosening exercise. So let's prepare the tape and move on to the exercises. We are going to work with each area of your face individually. On the forehead wrinkles, wrinkles between your eyebrows, tiny wrinkles around your eyes, naslobial folds, wrinkles under your lower lip, and marionette wrinkles. And let's start off by softening the forehead muscle. Stick your fingers to the skin and move it apart from the bone on your forehead. working through every area on your forehead. Then work horizontally. The next exercise for loosening of your forehead muscle and for this you're going to need some face cream. Apply it to your skin and let it absorb. After that, move on to the exercise. Just didn't get absorbed yet. But you're gonna cut it out, right? Sure. You always say of course and then you always place it in the video. Yep. Okay, enough, I'm starting. Tap your fingers deeply into the tissue and do very slow circular motions, moving through your forehead upwards, elongating the muscle. Sliding along the skin, but working with the muscle.
and work through every area of the muscle. Do some smooth sliding motions and move on to the wrinkles between your eyebrows. Place your fingers of both hands between the eyebrows and rub them sidewards, stretching out the wrinkle. Continue for 30 seconds. Now let's loosen the circular eye muscle in order to get rid of mimic wrinkles. Place your fingers at the end of your eyebrow lifting the tissues out and in soft tapping motions work along the circular eye muscle. Tapping your fingers deep into the tissue, loosening the muscle. Now let's work with nasolabial fold, starting massaging at the wings of your nose, slowly moving upwards, elongating the lateral nose muscle. Now softly massage the points at the wings of your nose. Placing your thumb inside your mouth, right at the wing of your nose. And with the pointing finger, massage the place of its attachment from the outside. And now let's work through a place where a lot of face muscles of the middle part of your face are connected to each other. For that, put your thumb inside your mouth and massage through the area, fixating the muscle with the other fingers on the outside. And move on to the other side. Now let's work with the chin muscles, separating the fold between your lower lip and your chin. Grab a fold of tissue and rub it against each other from the inner side of the fold. And now let's loosen and elongate your chin. Grab your chin in a way that your pointing fingers would be on top of it and your thumbs won't be under it. Tap your pointing fingers deep into the tissue and slowly slide them down along the muscle, elongating it and connecting your fingers at the end.
Now let's work on your depressor muscles. Place your thumb inside your mouth, with pointing fingers fixate the tissues, and gently soften the place of depressor muscles attachment. Now we worked with overcontracted muscles that form wrinkles, and now it's time to fixate the result with tapes. Before the taping procedure, apply your favorite face cream, let it absorb, and move on to the procedure itself. I am going to use tapes in the form of a square, first of all fixating the wrinkle between your eyebrows, unsticking the paper till the middle of your tape, applying it right in the middle between your eyebrows, after that, stretch out the area between your eyebrows, unsticking the rest of the paper, making sure that you are not stretching out the tape. Wrap the tape a little bit to activate the glue. Moving on to the lateral wrinkles on your forehead, again unsticking the paper till the middle of the tape. Stretching out your forehead and applying your tape. Unsticking the paper and sticking your tape to the forehead without stretching out the tape. Continue taping your forehead. Stretching out the lateral wrinkles. And fixating them with the tape. Now taping the nasolabial fold. For that, wrap your lips around your teeth, stretching out the point right under your nose. Additionally to that, stretch out the nasolabial fold with your fingers and stick the tape. taping the fold between your lower lip and your chin. For that, we are also stretching out this area, folding your lips around your teeth. Taping the marinade muscles. Roll your lips around your teeth, making sure that this area is stretching out. If needed, help stretching with your fingers. And another part for people who smile a lot and have wrinkles on their cheeks, like Oksana has. To stick this piece of a tape, you need to blow some air into your cheeks in order to stretch out the wrinkle and place your tape. But if you are doing this application, make sure you're not taping your depressor muscles. It's only one thing or another. Now moving on to the area around your eyes. For that you are going to need a thin strip 3 cm long. And your tape should be stretching by its length, not width. So unstick the part of the tape, stretch out the area of your eyes, 
lifting the end of your eyebrow up, but don't stretch out your skin too much. And stick your tape right at the area of your mimic wrinkles, making sure that you don't stretch out tape. And smooth it out. You can leave the tapes on for 3 to 8 hours. At the beginning, I would recommend leaving them on for 3 hours to see the reaction of your skin. The only exception is the area around your eyes. Here, not longer than 2 hours. You should unstick your tapes in the following way. First of all, soak it with an oil or micellar water and leave it on for 5 more minutes. After them, gently rub it off. Or unstick it under a very small angle, making sure that you are not stretching out your skin. It does make sense to soak them off with just water, because the glue on the tape is water resistant. You need something greasy in order to dissolve the glue. And you are not planning to remove them now, are you? Why are you actually interrupting me? Can I leave them on for at least 3 hours? So if you found this video useful, subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Make sure you click the bell to see our newest video.